Hello and welcome to this podcast. I'm Joseph Daniel, uh, joined with joined by Adam Schmeil and an amazing math teacher, Mr. Lu. So, um, do you think working out like you should lose working out if you uh, lose marks? <laughs> lose marks. <laughs> right, yeah. Lose working out. Okay. Do you think you should uh, lose marks if you don't show working out? Yeah. In but an exam, right? right? In so an exam. in an exam, usually we do not penalize for um, not getting the right answer if you don't uh, getting the right answer, but not showing working out because you may have done the working out somewhere. Uh, it might be in your head. It might be that you've just seen the question before, or it might be just that um, you did it on a piece of paper and you got lost. Yeah. So we give you the benefit of the doubt if you do a question that is about calculating something and you should get the right answer but you don't show working out okay i think we should turn this more into geometry questions okay because like if, if it's showing to like find for example a right. which is an angle right but then you're looking and you can f see like vertically opposite angles or yeah. supplementary or complementary yes but like if we don't show working out it's a two mark question would we still get the marks Okay, so but this, do you think they wouldn't put those kinds of questions? Because this is a easy. very interesting question because I think there are types of questions where it just says find a. It, find a. Yeah. yeah, and if it just says that, then you, all you have to do is find a, and you can just do it based on having a look at the um, the picture and going, oh, that looks like that angle, so it should be thirty. Yeah, but if it says something like find a giving reasons, giving reasons, yeah. then you have to provide some kind of words explaining how you found a yeah because don't you think like when you're in an exam obviously you're stressed with time if, mm -hmm. if, if you can find the answer easily then shouldn't there be like some kind of trust system sure sure yeah yeah no problem or yeah the free pass yeah if you get it yeah, yeah. because uh, apparently um some teachers are saying the reason why they do assessments is because exams are very stressful and i think this is because like the fact that you're stressed to do working out even on the most easiest questions that sometimes right. it can even cause you to stuff up and like, get it wrong. Yeah, it's okay. Because like, you're not sticking with what you have in your head. Like you're just going okay. off the working out and sometimes, you know, you might do it wrong when you, add in, extra and stuff. Yeah, when yeah, you sure. add in extra steps to the equation. Yeah, because that's because you're not used to doing working out in class and then suddenly you have to show some kind of working out and then you're getting it wrong because you're not used to doing that. Back to the topic on yeah. time. When you're, when you're on a calculator <laughs> yeah. and you you finish like a really long equation right. and then you write the answer down and then you click clear, but then you realize you need to show working out. Yeah, that that's a be, problem, right? That problem, that's a problem, yeah. yeah. Okay. So um, the structure, like do we, like does, does the structure matter or can we do it like the way that we like want to do the working out? Because sometimes like teachers might find it wrong and the way you like, but, but yeah, but as the long way as you get the right answer. Yeah. Okay. If your structure is logical, as yeah. in it follows a series of uh, statements or you know working out that makes sense, and we understand, we will definitely give you the mark. What if if we like don't understand, we may come back to question you, yeah. and if you can explain it to us. Um, have, we'll definitely try to give you the mark. There. I have this bad habit of writing on my textbook, and my teacher personally does yeah. not like it. Oh right. And okay. so, like, because I don't really do structure, I just write down the the number that's important mm -hmm. to the equation. Yeah. And then I like carry it on, find the rest. But like sometimes it would be very difficult for the teacher to understand. To understand. But like okay. for me, it's like I understand because I was the one who wrote it. Yeah. I was the one who sequenced it and stuff. It, it would yeah. depend on the type of question they ask you. Yeah. If it says just find this number and you just need to find the number, then that's it, that's okay. But like find and show you're working out in contrast to find and explain. Yeah, explain so, and show would be different, right? Yeah. Show, um, for example, there are questions in um, year 11, 12 where you have to show this side of the equation equals that side of the equation. And they have no numbers. It's yeah, just a no. general, this algebraic um, expression equals that algebraic be expression. Be on one side and next yeah. yeah. And if you just say it does equal, well, who 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 can prove <laughs> that you're right? Like, yeah, yeah or it does. Well, well, I don't think they you, would put 50-50 questions in there. Yeah, so, so it's yeah, not a 50-50 like, question. It definitely does equal, but what are the steps that you can do to show that they are equal? Yeah, That's what they're trying to test. Yeah, otherwise, yeah. But to me, the reason why I love and enjoy math so much is because 
for me, it's a yes or no topic. All right, okay. You, you can get it right. Yep. Or get it wrong. There's no maybe like English mm -hmm. or other subjects. Mm -hmm. So like when you add the working out, it brings in the whole concept of maybe you got your working out wrong, but mm -hmm. you answer right. So it's like it gets a bit weird. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yeah. true. Any, <laughs> anything but, you would like to say, yeah. Adam? Uh, <laughs> I, I think I think there's like an <laughs> analogy where if you like think about it, if it maths you have the destination already, you know the the answer. Yeah. Um, but how you arrived at the answer, the story, the story. is important as well. Yeah. So uh, maybe you've got this conclusion that, you know, Billy fell off the cliff. <laughs> but we want to know what happened to him. Like, <laughs> for example, um, a question in what we're doing in year nine, we're doing trigonometry, right? We're, we're finding, trying, to, trying to find how far away something is based on just looking at the angle and the distance. Yeah. Um, it's... It's kind of not really fun if you just say, oh, the distance is 50 or something. It's more interesting if you say, oh, because the angle is certain degrees here and your, your distance then, is high. But then if high. you say certain degrees here and then you get it wrong, won't you lose marks for it? So like in contrast to actually just writing the answer and getting it right. Uh huh. So if you do all the working out yeah. and part of the marking criteria has get the right answer to it, yeah. as one mark and working out as one mark then you just get like one out of two back to the whole thing yeah. where it's like the story and the journey like, yeah and then the end right but like you made it at the end and <laughs> that's like, true at the end of the day some questions just want they just want to know what happened at the end yeah and some questions they will need to use you need to kind of show or prove something yeah and that's those, kind of those. debates you, you, you're actually constructing an argument to show that something is true okay. right now maths is black and white but as you go further further onwards i think it'll become more and more gray <laughs> trust me well, gray. Yeah. yeah so thank you for coming on to the you. podcast today um yeah. i'm your host Joseph Daniel, <laughs> yeah. joined joined with adam schmile mm -hmm. and mr Lu.